I try to make safer drugs every day and that uh, I look for alternatives to using animals and so I have models that live in little tissue culture flasks and, and little organelles that swim around you know, <laughs> reagent flasks and then I try to model what's reality and try to make safer drugs for patients. It's actually interesting because traditionally safety is thought to be you know, occurring pretty late in the process in drug development. So you spend years of defining your target, developing molecules, looking at efficacy, and then at some point you ask the question, oh, is it safe to now go into a, a patient uh, and try it out in a trial? And so you have to go through rigorous you know, safety testing in the animal. And so that's what has traditionally been done and on many occasions we thought it was safe in the animal and then later on in the patient we saw that you know, it had liabilities anyway. So the thought that we have within Pfizer, at least you know, a lot of us by now, is to really start this much, much earlier. So the minute somebody says, I think this is a good target, we start thinking about it. You know, what do we know from competitors? What do we know from the literature? Can we you know, identify possible risks? for that target or uh, for that chemical series that might target it and then we start thinking about it and, and also designing uh, some experiments around it.